Hey guys, Corey of Android Community, and this is the brand new Swift Key Flow um, beta just released today. Um, I have plenty of pictures and more on the post. What I wanted to do here is instead of really talk about Swift Key Flow, I was just going to flow Swift Key Flow and let you see for yourself. So everything we love about Swift Key with the next word prediction, the uh, you know the predictive text engine in general is all here and now you know gesture based you know typing with flowing across the screen like Android 4. Point, you know. Jelly Bean or 4.1 Jelly Beans introduced and more. So here we have it. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So this is a quick test here um, with Swift Key Flow, but then what also makes it nice with Swift Key Flow is just like before, you don't have to use the space bar the whole time. So instead of going through and hitting the spacebar after each word, you can just flow through the spacebar. So let's go ahead and give that a test one more time and uh, make that a little shorter. As you can see there, hello, how are you today? Without lifting my finger off the screen, one time I was able to quickly and easily type out an entire sentence. That's the power of Swift Key Flow. They've added everything that we love about gesture-based typing into the benefits of Swift Key 3, all for a brand new experience. It's available now. Check it out, guys. Quick little video. Thanks for watching. Swift Key Flow. Um, this, of course, is the Swift Key Flow beta. I was just released today to the VIP community. So it's everything we love about Swift Key 3 already. They have the themes, the personalization, the language, tons of support, tons of language support, the Swift Key like stats that'll kind of show you, you know, you know how impressive Swift Key is and how much it's actually helped you with your typing and swiping and gliding or whatever you want to call it. So we have the lead feedback since this is a beta. We have all the language options and layout options as before with Swift Key 3. We have the personalization where you can go in there and learn from your Facebook or your Twitter or your Gmail, you know, or your messages, where it'll learn what you type and what you say. Um, that's nothing really new, but I just kind of wanted to run by it one more time. Um, you don't need to have to add words to the dictionary because Swift Key Flow will learn them for you as you set up a Swift Key. And then here we have the themes like always. There's multiple themes with Swift Key. Starts off with Cobalt. I love Holo personally because it gives me more of that Android look here. Obviously, I'm on a uh, Galaxy Nexus here with Android. Uh, it's actually 4.2.1 Jelly Bean, the uh, absolute latest. It is a Verizon one too. But go ahead and come down. Then you have Advanced, where you can go ahead and disable Flow if you don't like to use Flow. Um, if for some reason you don't want that option. I mean, obviously, there's not really a reason to disable that. And then we have the you know you can up you know change the height and the landscape height of the keyboard, which is nothing new either. But I'm just kind of you know. Quick rundown for anybody, if you've been debating using SwiftKey or trying SwiftKey, now that it's like every keyboard in one with SwiftKey Flow, having the features to be able to do gesture-based sliding and gliding or flowing and everything else all in the one, this is really the ultimate keyboard for Android. So i uh, kind of run through some of the specs one more time and details for people. And then when you go to the SwiftKey stats, which they've always had, what's new now with SwiftKey Flow, and it shows you your distance flow. I've, I've flowed. I've, I've swiped my finger on the screen 67 meters. I'm not going to do the math on the feet there, but that's pretty cool. Um, Swift Key Flow has made my efficiency while typing increase almost 30%, 29% there. It saved me 3,600 words. It's corrected up 350 for me. I've flowed almost 1,000 words. You know, predicted multiple for me. So, I mean, as you go, it predicts, has next word prediction, and now you can flow. So, it adds everything together for one just awesome, you know, typing experience. And then, words completed there, completed 300 for me. But I really liked it. I've shows that I flowed 60, 67 meters. It'd be really interesting to use this for more than a few days, you know, after like a month or a year, see how many miles you've slid your finger across your screen. It might actually make you kind of depressed to realize how much we all type and text. But one thing I love about flow here is, I mean, for the most part, I'm not always flowing, um, but it's great for one-handed use. Um, you know, a lot of times, if I, if I can, I'll use two fingers, but if I have the option to just quickly glide my finger with one hand while I'm busy, that's what makes SwiftKey Flow just really cool because it has all those next word predictions added to the flowing benefit for when you need it. But that was just a quick look at SwiftKey Flow. Go ahead and check it out now at the VIP forums. Thanks for watching.